Welcome to part 4 of the SNPixel v4 tutorial series. Today we're going to be looking at in and out effects. First thing we'll do is launch the program and make sure that the lightsaber is connected and it is. Shows green right there. The SNPixel v4 lightsaber only has one out effect pre-installed. And that is just a standard out effect where it just extends from the hilt and goes to the tip. And let's have a look at it. So if we look at it here, we notice that there is one frame. And that frame tells us how the light will start. So the length we want to be zero because we don't want any light at the beginning. And position zero. The time in milliseconds will show how fast this effect will happen. So we'll leave it at 440 milliseconds. And you want to make sure that the color is set to the hum layer. Underneath the light frame we have change position and length in set time. And if you notice that the time is set to 440 milliseconds uh, for the normal time and then there's a second time position which you want it to match so just keep that in mind that the light frame the time here and the time here should all match this shows us the ending of the out effect so we want the end position to be zero that's fine zero means that the light will encompass the whole blade the length, we want it to be 100 uh, because we want it to extend all the way. And the speed, we'll just leave that at zero. And if we send that and have a quick look, you will see that it, it's your standard out effect. Let's create a new out effect. We will click New Light. We'll choose Out. And the first thing we're going to do is tap light frame 1. We're going to set color to the hum layer. And now we need to make sure that the length is set to 0. Because we don't want to see any light at the very beginning of the effect. And we can leave the milliseconds or we can increase it. So if we want a really slow out effect, we'll set that to... 1000 milliseconds or one second. Press OK. We'll click the plus button. Choose change position and length in set time. And once again here, we're going to make sure that the values all match. We want the length to be 100 and the end position to be zero. So this is going to create an effect that's exactly the same as the other one, only it's going to be slower. And we'll save this one because we're going to come back to it and make some changes. Now let's try it. And you can see a lot slower. Okay, let's keep playing without 100. What if you want an out effect where it starts at the tip? How do we change that? What we're going to do is we're going to set the position to 100. And then we're going to try that out. And now it starts from the very tip and goes backwards. We'll go back and edit it again. This time, let's start it at position 50. Now it creates that effect where the saber ignites from the center. Now that you know how to do three very simple out effects, out from the hilt, out from the tip, or out from the center, 
Let's create a spark type ignition effect where the tip of the blade will be white as it goes out. We click on new light. We choose out. First, let's just create a standard out effect. So we'll click light frame one, set position to zero, color to hum layer. That way it'll always be the color of the, uh, the sound font or the, the hum effect. And we'll press OK. We'll click on the green plus, choose change position and length in set time. And the length, we want it to be 100. And we want this to be 500 milliseconds, like so. And that is a standard out. Now we need to create a second light frame. Again, length zero, color, and just for the sake of doing this, I'm gonna choose hum layer again, press okay. I'm just basically gonna create the exact same thing twice. All right, so now we have two identical light frames. If you've watched my previous video about hum effects, and if you haven't, I really recommend that you watch it, you'll know that light frames are like wrappers. Light frame two is wrapped around light frame one. So whatever color I choose for light frame one, you're not gonna see it because light frame two will cover it. Light frame one, I'm gonna change this to white. So still, I'm not gonna see any white because light frame two, which is the hum layer, is covering it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delay light frame two just a little bit. We'll set that to 100 milliseconds. So white, so light frame one will start before light frame two and go up the blade. So we're gonna save this and send it to the saber and let's have a look. And there it is. You can see that the white is quite large. If I wanna make the white section smaller, I'm just gonna reopen my out 100 and edit it. I'm just gonna decrease the delay. So let's try 40 milliseconds. This will be less time between when the white starts and between when the hum layer starts. And we'll send that, we'll save it, and let's have a look. And that's better. And if I want to make it even smaller, again, just reduce the delay time. We'll put it to 20 milliseconds. Now let's have a look. And that looks good. You can also apply different effects for the out, meaning if you wanted to have a fire blade as it goes out and then just switch to your regular steady blade, you can do that. And that's very simple to do. And we can even edit the one we already have. So light frame two, which is our hum layer, that's our actual uh, blade color, we can actually create fire. And we can use hum layer for that. And let's just have a look and see what that's gonna do. So 
So you can see how it's fire for a little bit and then when it goes back to the hum, it stops the fire. And you can use that same principle for any type of effect you want. Well, let's just do candy, sure. So this should be a spark tip with candy blade and then changing to whatever the hum layer is. Sure enough, it does it. Let's have a look at the in effects. We'll tap load local light and choose in. For whatever reason, there is no in 003. I don't know why. In 001 is your standard retraction. In 002 will launch light, meaning that sections of the blade will break away as it retracts. In 4, the retraction will actually start at the middle of the blade, and then it will um, retract to the tip and the hilt. In 5 is the opposite of in 4. What's important to remember if you're going to create new in effects is that when you have the light frame automatically created, make sure the color is set to black, the position set to 100, and the length set to 0. Click on your green plus, choose change position, and again make sure the time all matches. and the length set to 100. So that'll create a standard retraction. We'll save it, we'll send it, and we'll give it a quick check to make sure it is working. And there it goes. You cannot add any type of effect when doing an in um, effect. It will crash the saber because it's trying to apply fire or candy um, to a black layer it just won't work and it's gonna not work so don't do it there really isn't a whole lot of things that you can do within you can experiment and you can play around with the pre-installed ones but generally in effects just leave them the way they are that wraps up part four for the SM Pixel v4 uh, series. If you do have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. In the next episode, part five, we're going to be looking at lockup effects. There are a few different lockup effects that you can create, and they're really cool, and I'll show you how to make them. I've been your host, The Frugal Jedi. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>